refer to the American Judy Hashman as one of the all-time greats of the game and arguably the greatest women's singles player of all time. Well, on court now, to the right of the umpire, we have a lady who is now rivaling her for that claim, and that, of course, is the number one seed and the world's number one player, Susie Susanti. Twenty-three years of age now, living in Jakarta. She first reached the final of the All England Championships as an 18-year-old back in 1989. She won the title for the first time in 1990, and again in 1991 and 1993. So, if she wins again, it'll be her fourth victory, and she'll keep the trophy. But apart from her, her successes in the All England, Susie is the Olympic champion. <laughs> Victory, of course, in Barcelona in 1992. And here in Birmingham in 1993, she became the world champion. <laughs> this year, she's continued her dominance of the women's game, winning the Japan and Chinese Taipei Opens. The number one seed and defending champion, Susie Susanti. But she knows it won't be easy today because warming up in the white tracks and trousers is a young lady who beat Susie in the final of the Indonesian Open. And to do that in Indonesia takes some doing. And that, of course, is China's Jay Zhao Ying. Seeded two, ranked number two in the world, 19 years of age. Semi-finalist in the World Championships last year. Semi-finalist in the All England for the last two years. And the runner-up to Susie in the Japan Open this year. But as I say, she won when they met in the final of the Indonesian Open. Zhe Zhao Jing from China. So there, Susie Susanti's path through to the final. Just dropped the one set in the third round, but as you can see, it came through pretty convincingly. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final of the ladies' singles of the Onyx. And there, Zhe Zhao Ying from Between China, her opponent, just 19 right, years old, the world Susie ranked number Susanti two. And there's her path media. through. Just one set dropped by her as well. And on my left, Ye Jiaoying, China. Susie Susanti to serve. So Susie Susanti to start us off. Love all. Play. And she's not here just to make up the numbers, Ye. A wonderful stroke maker. Lovely. Yeah, it was a great start. A lovely slice round the head. Drop shot uh, to win the point. Good judgment there by Suzanti and that shuttle landing three or four inches out.
is Ante going to to love. now for Ye to try and assert herself at the start otherwise there's a danger of course she's going to be blown off court here crowd really getting behind Suzanti and uh, giving her the lift A ballet dancer always on her toes great long strides long legs and uh, did enough to win the point there start for Suzanne. Yeah, Suzanne here having it all her own way and uh, the Chinese girl not really uh, getting into this match. Now's her chance. Yeah, the last girl to beat Suzanne and that was back in July 1993. That was in the Indonesian Open eight months ago. Since then, Suzanne's won seven tournaments in a row. circuit this year super delayed flat clear there by a and uh, completely outfitting Suzanne just wide Two, six. but she never looks ruffled goes for the showboating shot Suzanne he just slowly puts on the pressure yes it's superb movement and hardly seems that she's rushing around and uh, is making the Ch Chinese girl yay to all the errors the number one lady in Indonesia Just a beautiful sequence of shots. Good movement here by the Chinese goal. 
go on that, round the head, and uh, Susanti just missing the, missing the spin shot on the net. Yeah. She's dangerous when she's attacking. Yeah, rather a short clear here by Susie Susanti. You can see her feet and then an easy smash, really. when she gets in a rhythm to draw mistake after mistake from her opponents. That's right, she, uh, she does get into a rhythm and uh, it's a pretty formidable rhythm when it uh, starts. to attack, likes to do different Eight, things. That's her style four. of play. It's taken her to the world number two. So she has to keep doing what she knows best. <laughs> There's a superb example of it. Yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah, far more... Uh, Better range of shots than Suzanti, and uh, seen a good slice drop shot there. <laughs> Giving her nothing to feed on, Suzanti. Yeah, but a poor backhand clear there from Ye. Let's read that. Service over, over. Four, nine. Strong deception from Ye. This will be her last time chance in this first game. Five, nine. It's important that uh, Ye starts to pull back now because uh, I feel that Suzanti will quickly close out this game. Yes, we've seen it before, she just seems to go up a gear when she's threatened, not that she's remotely threatened at the moment. She seems to be coasting, as we said before, she's just uh, in automatic pilot at the moment, and it's not until it gets close that uh, she starts to step up a gear. She makes the game look ridiculously easy. It's really poetry in motion, a superb movement. finish absolute hitting the top of the table and just dribbling down the other side over, five, nine. cool head to trust her judgment in crisis period and so athletic 
Bozo. when the chance presents itself. Nine, yeah, given nine. half a chance, half an opening, and diving in there, hitting off the top. Lightning reactions. Totally expressionless. Confidence in her play, bordering almost on arrogance on court. Brooks, no notion of defeat. Here she is with game point then. And it looked like a practice session. 11-5 against the world number two. Yeah, really uh, a stroll there for Susie Susanti okay, and nothing nine, really to, uh, apart from a couple of nine. slice shots from the Chinese girl, but uh, much the same as we've seen before, one-way traffic. OK, then, Mike, how do you beat her? How do you beat Susanti when she's playing like this? Well, I think you've got to uh, try and get to the shuttle earlier than Susie Susanti. We've seen this movement, this beautiful ballerina-type movement. But I think, really, you've got to have one or two winning shots, and uh, none of these girls not look to me as though they've got a winning shot to uh, suddenly pull out the Second bag game. during a rally. Let's see if she carries it through. First game, 11-5. Love all. Play. what she needs and she's just not getting enough no presence Service over. set up from a very good net shot here and we're getting a short lift enabling Ye to really whack it on the floor Service over. love all One, no. A good movement here by the Chinese girl trying to push Suzanti around, but just missing that sideline. Again, excellent disguise. Love. It's the first time we've seen Suzanti do this shot, but uh, what a stroke. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Just occasional Love. signs. Love. And you can see why she's the world number two, yay, but for most of the time, she's been stretched too far, too wide. It's just the unforced errors, the same sort of pattern of play that uh, both players have got, but it's just the unforced errors that the Chinese girl Ye is making. Just like that. Suzanti just feeds the shuttle almost That's to say, OK, line. come on, I can Ooh. stay here all day, you just make the error. And uh, they seem to respond. Service over, love two. One, two.
That is over. 2 1. Beautiful shot. That no, was a good shot. A short, rather short serve from Suzanti. But Yay just clipping that down, hitting the sideline. Is Yay moving a lot better now? Putting off the big winners, but looking in. Terrific Two, rhythm four. around the court. Yeah, I'm reading the game much better. And that was a very tight net shot, and Susie Suzanti unable to return. <laughs> Not deep enough for clear. Yeah, the Two, same in reverse four. here. Suzanti playing the tight net shot there that time, getting a short lift and pummeling this very hard smash, and Ye unable to retrieve. Cool. Suzanti's judgment is that fine. Four, two. And Suzanti edging towards her fourth All England title. Severest pressure there. Yeah, very controlled rally and uh, two, sudden change of direction four. playing that one straight and then this one cross court and that did the damage. Yeah. Yeah. There's enough disguise on that. Four, Completely full up. Onto the line. For another celebration. Very slow. The match has gone into a very slow pace now. And uh, I'm sure this was just how Suzanti wants it. Well, they will not be denied, and nor will she. Six, two. A good stretch by Suzanti and uh, Che just missing this one. Four point cushion. Seven, two. Yes, just an inch, but she had. Just a sixth sense it was going out. <laughs> so six points in a row now for Suzanti. Eight, two. Yeah, she's so just feeding her up into this backhand corner, so just penning her up in there, just waiting for the error.
Very close indeed. Oof. Yeah, very close. Crowd really getting behind Suzanti here. She's got to stop it right now, Ye. Yeah. She's running out of time. That time. Three, eight. Four, eight. Great serve there. Absolutely on the line. showing her suppleness with the splits there wide to the forehand but not good enough. Yeah, this went to my eyes water every time I watch Susie Sudanti do that. A four Five, split. Eight. Three points there for Ye. Service over. Eight, five. Playing superb stuff, but still, it's not good enough. Good control Nine, by both girls, five. but in the end, uh, a weak backhand here gave Suzanne an easy push into the front court. And she looked really pleased to win that rally. It's rare emotion from her. Two points away now from her fourth All England title. And now it's match point. Ten, match point, five. What a reply. Well, one thing for her, Mike, she's not afraid to play the big shot. That's, so that's brilliant. I mean, five, match point down ten. here and just producing a super shot like that. That was really nerves of steel. Six, ten. Yeah, understand why that forehand has beguiled so many of her opponents. Good judgment again by Suzanti. She hasn't been far wrong in this match. She willed it over as well as those. Match point again. Service so over. Six. Ten. Really going for it. And, uh, Another reprieve. It's in. She has a look at the line, Judge. She's not sure it was right. Let's have a look. Seven, ten. Slightly obscured, but I think she might have had a point. Yeah, she's really fighting on this one and uh, playing superb in the second set and just getting very close again now. Eight, ten. She's battled hard, saved two match points. Now two points in a row for her. 
Both long and wide. So match point number three now for Cizanti. Uh, still some fight left in Yay, which is uh, great to see. Oh. Well, for such a serene lady, that was a rather junior shot. Nine, uh, it's this very ten. casual approach that uh, Susie Cizanti has to her play. Talked about stepping Ten, up a gear whenever nine. danger loomed, and it certainly is now. Yeah, she's uh, certainly feeling it in this match. It's been not an easy week for her, but uh, certainly the Chinese girls pushed her all the way in this match. Strides this sport as no other lady does in any other sport. Yeah, she's so laid back that uh, she almost falls over. But uh, a real great performance again. Another classic performance from Susie Cizanti. Expressionless, movement superb, very few errors, and the winning point. And here's her reaction when she knew she'd won the title for the fourth time. And those who come to support her, look at that. Wonderful stuff. Second title for Indonesia on finals day. So, Susie Susanti takes her fourth title in 1994. 11-5, 11-9.